Hi children, you all might have missed reading the story of the ice monster. I left for Europe for a long vacation. You two all must be busy with uh, school now. So let us continue reading it only in the weekends. Meanwhile, um, let me brief you on the story for those who missed it and recap for others. This is an interesting story about Elsie. An orphan in Victorian London in 1899. And her connection with Uli Mammoth that lived 10,000 years ago. So Elsie was left at the door of an. This, this is the briefly story. Okay, Elsie was an orphan. She was left at uh, the orphanage door by her mother when she was a baby. So the warden of the orphanage was so cruel that she had the inmates to eat cockroaches and they were dunked in the um, what do you call them maggots for a weekly bath okay so Elsie had never seen her mother so she used to imagine her mother in uh, various characters uh, like a spy and um, okay different characters and uh, narrated to her friends and uh, you know, other inmates of the orphanage and for that, she was punished by the warden. So one day, she escaped the orphanage through a pipe imitating the rats. You know, the how the rats escaped. She observed how the rats escaped through the pipes. In the same way, she squeezed herself. Anyway, she didn't have much food, so she was so sickly, she was so thin. So she escaped from that and reached London Street. So she survived London Street by uh, it is stealing food from the others and sleeping in a bathtub. So one day she came across a news in the paper, the newspaper about a woolly mammoth. It was the man, the people, she can't read, she saw the picture and the people, vendors, uh, newspaper, uh, uh, people who sell the newspaper, they were uh, talking about it. They were saying about uh, the woolly mammoth which was uh, found, uh, you know, it survived 10,000 years back, that was found in ice, okay, and uh, it is preserved in the ice, in the, found in the Antarctic region. So, there, she stealthily entered into Natural History Museum in London to know about this, okay. She couldn't read, but she could see the animals and learn a lot about them. She escaped. The security stopped her, but even then she managed to hoodwink him and enter into, along with other visitors, enter inside the museum and uh, she was learning about them. Then meanwhile, one day in a very uh, no, uh, cruel uh, winter day, she could not survive the cold outside. So she entered into a museum in the evening and hid herself in a cupboard. Then uh, the cleaner, cleaning lady, Dotty, she found her and uh, punishing her, she befriended her and she gave her food. So she became friendly with that um, Dotty. Then one day the ice monster was brought to London by a ship. Okay? And uh, the, uh, she was unveiled, by the, installed in the museum and unveiled by Queen Victoria. Okay, the, you should read the story. Uh, very funny, many funny things described when Victoria visited the place. And uh, okay, so this is, uh, we'll read further about the bravery of Elsie, how she hoodwinked the police, her adventures. Very funny and interesting and we really, uh, you know, how courageous she is. Though she doesn't have anyone to care uh, for her or care about her, but she uh, took care of herself and uh, how nicely she escaped from the police and after that she met one scientist and uh, uh, she sacrificed so much, uh, so showed so much bravery in bringing that woolly mammoth to life and she uh, encouraged some uh, sailors uh, no, not sailors, they were from um, uh, retired people from the army. So she, uh, with their help, she uh, uh, released Mammoth and uh, 
so rest of the story we'll read that is very interesting how uh, uh, her relationship with the mamath how she brought uh, ole mamath to life and uh, how she controlled her she loved her and the ole mamath loved elsie uh, the story is very interesting we'll read it in further chapters